Hi everyone, it's Chi-Town Tracy. I've been very, very busy today. Um, I've been sewing and I've been having so much fun. Um, so I want to share a few projects with you. Um, first and foremost, I want to show you my altered paintbrush. This is for a swap at Inspire um, Lock Create. And um, it was really fun to do. It's my first paintbrush. My hands are really gross today. But you can see I just took a, it was a brand new paintbrush that I had um, in the, I just had it in the garage. And um, I gessoed the whole thing. Then I um, painted it pink. Then I sanded it down. And then I stamped it with a large stamp. You can see the imprint. Can you see that? You can barely see it on this side. So then I um, gessoed down here too and added some paint and some stickles. Um, but I also inked it with vintage um, photo and black soot. I wrapped some pearls around it. I wrapped um, a pink trim. Wait, first I wrapped um, a white lace, then a pink trim, and then some pearls. I added um, underneath here, I just cut these and, and hung them. They're just glued up there, hot glued. I'm always leery of using hot glue because I don't think it stays as well. But it is on fabric, so hopefully it'll stay. I added this I got from um, uh, Natalia at Paper Passion. It's really, really cute. This is a flower that I made for um, my, my DT project last month. Well, I did it this month. For Alicia's store, and I used a metal here. And so this is just one of my flowers for my stash and a little bow here. Um, this is um, some, I love this, uh, leaf uh, garland trim from my stash. And this is from my stash, a little pink. And this is from Alicia's store and I just um, spray painted it white with some seam, be uh, seam binding. So I think it turned out really cute. I hope my partner likes it. That's that. And then I made this little card. And that's what I was looking for earlier. How funny. Well, um, well first, um, first, let me show you what I did. Um, I, I'm in a Tilda group on um, Facebook, and I have to link the, the group. I'll link both groups. And I made this little Tilda doll. Um, I was inspired by Vilma over on Facebook. She, what she did was she copied, this is actually, photo, this is copied in my printer on fabric, a really, really cool technique. I saw on Pinterest or somewhere, I think it was on Pinterest how they pinned the, how you do it. But she um, shared this image with me because all my images were coming out fuzzy from the internet. But um, I think she turned out really, really pretty. I'm going to do a bigger one. She did a bigger one, and she had feathers. Hers was pretty, but mine's simple. So what you do is you take a piece of paper. This is the image. So you take a piece of paper. I used Aileen's Crystal Clear Tacky Spray. I also use these on my brother's Scanner mat mats um, to make them tacky, or my Cricut mats. And I sprayed it. This is, of course, ironed first, and then you place it in, you flatten it out and you place it and you put it in your printer. And I have to put it face down and then it, it's, it prints right on the fabric. It's so cool. You guys have to try it. It's my new thing now. I'm going to keep doing it. Um, somebody's texting me. Oh. So anyway, um, so there she is. Very, very cute. I love it. She came out really, really cute, and I just stickled her up. Then I made these Tilda Bugs, which are so cute. Um, I used some fabric that I got at, um, this is fabric that I got at Joann's, and this is um, fabric that I sell in my shop. It's um, Tanya Whaling. It's very beautiful, very luxurious. You can definitely tell the difference. But I just followed a Tilda um, pattern for this bug. Super easy. The first thing I sewed today. So cute. Then I made this one. And this one is made with all um, uh, Tanya Whalen fabric. And this is another Tilda Bug. So, so cute. 
and then I made this um, Tilda can, Tilda inspired can, um, with some fabric um, paper that I sell in my store. It's so cute. I love it. And so this is for a swap at um, our, the Tilda Fan Club. I think it's called Tilda Fan Club. I just know it's my Tilda group. So I made this and we were supposed to swap a Tilda can. And what I like about Tilda is it's very, very simplistic. So um, I did add a couple of trims, but if you look at any of Tilda's stuff, her stuff is really, really simple. So I wanted to keep it simple. And so um, just in case my partner does something a little more, um, a little more to her can, I wanted to make up for it and make her a bug. So I made her a bug and I also made this little can which is, has a little more on it, a little more detail on it. And I copied these tags, I made these buttons with my new button maker. And these tags are just in one of the books. Oh, and I made these adorable little hearts. They're Tilda-esque. I'm so, I'm a sewing, sewing maniac and I made this little button and this is just some trims but all on Tilda S cards and stuff. Or t these are Tilda cards. But I love the way that came out. I thought it was really sweet. So she'll get that. And here's some other ones that I made. This is a, just a little bit different. And then I just put it in the back. A little button in the back. I have another one. I don't know where it's at. Oh, here it is. It's really sweet, really simple. Let's see. Oh, then I got me this little card out of a little cutout. So that's what I've been up to all day. I've been making these little bugs and this little bug and finished all my projects. And I'm really, really proud of this little girl. She's so cute. And I guess that's it. I feel like I had so much more to show. Um, I'll be back with my DT um, package that I just got in the mail. Thanks so much for watching. Ciao.